speed is the best way to get an idea how fast the car is. So hook your seatbelt with your body cues we are going to push to the maximum limit. So click the subscribe button and comment down I subscribe we will personally try to reach as much person as we can. Automakers have been racing to produce the fastest car in the world since the early days of the automobile. In 2019, Bugatti finally broke the magical 300 mile per hour barrier with a beefed up version of the Chiron, but what about 2020? So let's start the video. This is the 10th speedest car of the world till now, Saline S7 with an total speed on the racetrack with 248 mile per hour. The Saline S7 is only the second American built supercar on this list. Introduced in 2000 with the naturally aspirated 7.0 liter V8, the S7 was upgraded to a twin turbocharged unit in 2005. Rated at 1000 horsepower with the optional competition package, it enables the S7 to hit a top speed of 248 horsepower. Although it's the last car on our list, we need to know that the turbocharged S7 reached 248 miles per hour the same year when the Vron established a record as 253.8 miles per hour Saline wasn't far behind. But unlike Bugatti, Saline never attempted to set a new record for production cars. In 2017, Saline announced the S7 LM with 1,500 horsepower and a top speed of 298 miles per hour, but that benchmark was never tested. One of the next level car, McLaren Speed Tail hitting a total speed of 250 mile per hour. This concept car hits the list getting a number of 9 at speed this car of 2020. This car was introduced in 2019, and it's considered a spiritual successor to the iconic F1. But that's mostly because it features a three-seat layout with the driver's seat in the center. Unlike other cars on this list, the Speedtail is a hybrid, combining a twin-turbo, 4.0-liter V8 gasoline engine with an electric motor. McLaren says that the Speedtail is able to hit 250 miles per hour which makes it the company's fastest vehicle yet. However, the British firm has yet to release proof that the Speedtail is indeed capable of such speeds. Now the most prominent car of the world has been given a title of 8 most speedest car of 2020. Bugatti Vrun, the standard Vrun, is the first production car that surpassed the 250 mile per hour mark. And it did it back in 2005 when it put an end to McLaren's long-standing record set with the F1 in 1993. The Vrun, fitted with an early version of the 8.0-liter W16, hit a top speed of 253.8 miles per hour on April 19, 2005. Its record stood for two years, but it was recaptured by the Super Sport version and then by its successor, the Chiron. This is the only Bugatti in our list that generates less than 1,000 horsepower. The W16 used in the original Veron cranks out 987 horses and 922 pound-feet of torque. The seventh most speedest car of 2020. SSC Ultimate Aero with achieved and speed of 256 mile per hour. The Ultimate Aero is the car that briefly stole the record from the Bugatti Veron until the Vrant Super Sport came to take it back. SSC set its record in 2007 with a twin-turbo version of the car. The Ultimatero hit a top speed of 256.1 miles per hour somewhere in West Richland and held the record until 2010. The Ultimatero was discontinued in 2013 after several limited edition models. But SSC is now working on a new contender for the world's fastest production car, the Tuatara. While the record car came with 1,183 horsepower and 1,094 pound-feet of top, SSC increased power to 1,300 horses toward the end of production. It also switched the original 6.3-liter V8 with a 6.9-liter engine.
This Swedish concept next level car has been given title of 6 speedest car of 2020. Koenig's gauge ramp, this car achieved and speed of 260 mile per hour on the race track. The Adra RS may be the fastest of its kind, but the Adra R isn't far behind. Produced from 2011 to 2014, the Adra R featured the company's legendary 5.0 liter V8 engine, capable of up to 1,124 horsepower and 885 pound feet of torque. The Swedish firm used this car to set a handful of records for production cars in 2011, but these were eventually reset by the Adra RS. Although it didn't set a record for top speed, the Adra R was nearly as fast as the Bugatti Vran Super Sport at 260 miles per hour. This benchmark places it in fifth place on our list and makes it the second Koenigsegg to make our top 10. This next level car, Bugatti Chiron, has been the fifth speedest car of 2020. The Chiron retains a quad turbo W16 engine but power was upgraded to 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. The Chiron's top speed is officially limited to 261 miles per hour, which is a bit below the Vrant Super Sport. On the other hand, the Chiron Super Sport tops the list with more than 300 miles per hour, so we know there's plenty of potential under the hood. The Chiron costs almost $3 million and it's about as exotic as hypercars get. With fluid curves and angrily squinting headlights, this coupe's exterior design communicates power and performance, and its standard 1,500 horsepower engine endows it with acceleration capabilities worthy of a bullet train. The Chiron's cabin is deluxe, but storage space is minimal, and amenities such as driver assistance technology and an infotainment screen are missing. This this fourth speedest car of 2020, Bugatti ran Super Sport with an highest speed attained by this car of 268 mile per hour. The Bugatti ran may be 5 years old as of 2020, but it's still among the fastest supercars ever built. Actually, the record set by Bugatti in 2010 places the Vran in fourth place with a top speed of 267.8 miles per hour. This benchmark was achieved with a beefed-up model called the Vran Super Sport. Bugatti built a special run of 30 cars called World Record Edition to celebrate the event, but these vehicles are limited to 258 miles per hour to protect the tires. The Super Sport was also the most powerful version of the Vran with its 8.0-liter W16 rated at 1,184 horsepower, 197 more than the regular model. So now this car which have been titled third most speedest car of 2020. Hennessy Venom GT, which broke the record in 2013 and was given Guinness World Record for the fastest road legal car from 0 to 186 miles per hour. 0 to 300 kilometers per hour, with an average acceleration time of 13.63 seconds. Despite the seemingly long run, only 13 cars were built. Based on the Lotus x -Sige, the extensively modified Venom GT features a twin-turbo, 7.0-liter V8 engine under the hood. Based on General Motors LS7 V8, the unit pumps out up to 1,244 horsepower and 1,155 pound-feet of torque. The Venom GT hit its highest top speed in February 2014, when it reached 270.4 miles per hour on Kennedy Space Center shuttle landing strip in Florida. Although the speed was higher than the world record at the time, it did not qualify for the Guinness Book of Records because Hennessy's run was in a single direction. Also, the limited production run of only 13 cars went against Guinness rules. The second most speedest car, Koenig's Adra RS, the most powerful version of the Adra, the Adra RS, became the world's fastest car on November 2017, when Koenig's hit an average speed of 277.9 miles per hour. The record lasted less than two years but the Adra RS still owns a handful of benchmarks, including acceleration from 0 to 200 mph, braking from 200 to 0 mph, 
and 0 to 200 miles per hour and back to full stop. Unlike Bugatti, Koenigsegg didn't build the limited edition version of the Adra RS to celebrate the record, but the RS itself was limited to 25 examples. So now you have been thinking what is the first speedest car, this the speedest car Bugatti. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 which hit it and highest speed in 2020 of 304 mile per hour. This car also received Guinness World Record. The most powerful version of the Adra, the Adra RS, became the world's fastest car on November 2017, when Koenigs hit an average speed of 277.9 miles per hour the record lasted less than two years. But the Adra RS still owns a handful of benchmarks, including acceleration from 0 to 200 miles per hour, braking from 200 to 0 miles per hour, and 0 to 200 miles per hour and back to full stop. Unlike Bugatti, Koenigs didn't build the limited edition version of the Adra RS to celebrate the record, but the RS itself was limited to 25 examples. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe to never miss an update from Luxury Talks.